HP also made the X360 one of the most portable 2-in-1s available. This spring, the Spectre X360 gets even better looking. Thanks to a new copper and black paint job which HP inexplicably calls Ash Silver. What I love most about the Spectre X360 is how precise it feels. If the hard edges on its all aluminum body were any sharper, they'd cut you. And the polished sides provide a great highlight accent to the Spectre X360's large swaths of smooth brushed metal, simply put. The Spectre X360 is one of the most attractive laptops on the market, too, in one or otherwise. However, if I had to nitpick, I'd say I wish the Spectre X360's hinge were a bit stiffer. When the machine is sitting on a table in laptop mode or propped up in tent mode, it's fine. But if you pick the two-in-one up and walk around, those little bounces sometimes cause the screen to slowly shift out of its original position. Display Featuring a new, glossy, 13.3-inch, Full HD display with super thin side bezels. The Spectre's screen is a great complement to the 2-in-1's gorgeous design. It's bright and colorful, and when I watched the latest trailer for Rogue One, the Spectre X360 dazzled as crimson and verdant blaster bolts flew across the display. On our test, the Spectre X360 screen put out 317 nits of brightness which is more than both the Samsung Notebook 9 Spin 283 nits and Lenovo Yoga 900 284 nits and about the same as the more recent Yoga 900 S 320 nits The Spectre's color range was also quite good as the panel covered 101.7% of the sRGB spectrum that beat out numbers from both the Yoga 900 and 900S. Although the showing didn't quite match the Spin 9's richer 135% performance. In addition to a revamped design, the Spectre X360 also features a new Intel 7th Gen Kirby Lake CPU. You can choose either a Core i5 processor or Core i7 chip like the one in our 2.7-GHC Core i7-7500U, 16GB of RAM and 512GB PCIe SSD equipped review unit. With this kind of setup, the Spectre X360 absolutely flies. Multitasking was a breeze, even with 20 or more browser tabs open. The convertible notched a Geekbench 3 score of 7,933, which means that overall performance increased by 16% over last year's model. That also means the Spectre X360 tops almost all of its competitors including the Samsung Notebook 9 Spin, 6948, the Lenovo Yoga 900, 6264, and the Yoga 900 S 5343. To be fair though, those models used Intel's last gen chip. Heat? One of the small drawbacks of the Spectre's super thin chassis is its heat management. After streaming HD video for 15 minutes, the air vent on the left side of the system reached 105 degrees Fahrenheit. While that's higher than our standard 95 degree comfort threshold, the keyboard and touchpad stayed relatively cool to the touch at 84.5 and 90.5 degrees. Respectively, the bottom was a little hotter, at around 98 degrees but not worryingly so. Configurations and availability Sales of the Spectre X360 will be split across Best Buy and HP itself. The baseline $1,050 model, which includes a Core i5 CPU, 8GB of RAM and a 256GB SSD, will be available directly from HP. A couple more premium models, such the $1,160 Core i7 8GB RAM, 
256GB SSD version in our $1300 review unit i7 CPU, 16GB RAM, 512GB SSD will be available exclusively from Best Buy. If you want to customize your specs even further with parts like a 1TB SSD, you'll need to visit hp.com. Bottom line, with its top-tier performance, exquisite design, 10-hour battery life and convertible versatility, the Spectre X360 isn't just the best 2-in-1 currently available, it might the best laptop HP has ever made. Yes, the hinge could be stiffer, and I wish HP hadn't ditched the SD card slot, but overall, the X360 is the convertible laptop.